Look at the detail with the cheese just melting off the side, right off the rim. This is, oh, the pickles peaking. Oh, this is going to be a money bite. Money bite. What's up guys, this is IFEB Pro Santi Aragon and we are on our way to some fast food places that you may be familiar with and our goal is to try to find healthy, healthier options. If you're on the go, if you're on the road and you can't find anything healthy, you know that you could find at least these two restaurants at any corner. We're gonna see what we can order here. I mean, post show, this is my go-to cheat meal spot. So Taco Bell is not like, even though like I love their quesadillas, <laughs> that I, I rarely go to, rarely go to Taco Bell. So in an off-season setting, this is something that I would probably do if I don't have my meals with me. Let's let's face it, in the off-season sometimes you get lazy, um, you you don't cook your meals, you don't bring them with you. Maybe you're running errands and you ate all your meals and you're in a pinch. This is a very easy way to get something that's clean and not get off your diet plan. Uh, this is also something that if you're also in a pinch and maybe you are on a contest prep, this wouldn't be the worst option to go with. So let's see what they got here. Yeah. Hi, can I get the Power Bowl with extra chicken and uh, the rice and the beans on the side, please. And a Diet Coke, uh, large, please. Now the true test of all of this is because all the muscle and strength videos where they did the clean segments, they always got the orders wrong. So let's see if Miami does any better than anybody else. Please, come on Miami, you, get, you gotta show, show them up, show them up. Why yeah. Uh, we're doing the segment uh, for clean eating in fat for fast food restaurants. So we're doing a couple stops to different, uh, you know, places oh, where cool. we can we can, can see. It it's going to be on YouTube, yeah. Oh, what yeah. channel? It's called Muscle and Strength. Okay. Yeah, Muscle and Strength. That's cool. Yeah. You're cute. Oh, th <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you guys made my day. <laughs> it looks like they did an exceptional job. Here's the side of black beans. Here is the side of rice. This looks like a, a yellow rice or a wild rice kind of thing. And this seems to be just about a cup. So this, is, this looks like a cup of white rice. This looks like a cup of beans. They hooked me up with plenty of hot sauce. They thought um, I was uh, very hot myself. So they went with mild, which they should have gone with fi fury or fiery or whatever it is. But I'll take it. And... <laughs> So this is what we got going on with the bowls. Some pico, you got a little dollop, it's very small, dollop of sour cream and uh, guac. And then you got a little bit of sprinkle of cheese as well. So as far as calories and macros go with this, uh, this meal online is rated at about 550 calories. So uh, 550 calories, if the, if the protein is measured correctly, you're right around the 40 grams of protein. I'm gonna say it's about 30 grams of protein just by looking at it right here. If you add the uh, the one cup of, of rice, again, you're right around the 50 grams of carbs, anywhere between 50 and 60 grams of carbs on that. Fat, now you're gonna get a little bit of fat from the cheese and you're also gonna get fat from the little dollop. I mean, this is very small. This is about maybe one ounce of each, the guac and the sour cream, which will roughly be anywhere, I would say about 20 grams of fat with it. Um, other than that, if you add, again, if we're gonna add the addition of the black of the black beans, this will probably boost up your protein intake by another six grams. So another good thing about this meal is that it has some greenery in it, okay? It has a little bit of lettuce. It's got some fiber from the tomatoes and from the onions. 
and it also, if you add the beans in it, it also it, it increases the fiber content on this, which also helps with digestion. So I'm not saying that you will have any, any problems digesting Taco Bell, but in the event that you do, you can add these things to it and it'll definitely help you, uh, help you digest this a little bit better. This is a Chipotle if you don't wanna like wait in line. Okay, so we're at my favorite fast food place of all time. We're at the Golden Arches, McDonald's. We're gonna see what we can order here. I mean, post show, this is my go-to cheat meal spot. Hello? Yeah. Hi, um, the artisan grilled chicken sandwich, does it come with like a sauce on it or anything like that? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a number five with no, with no sauce. And can I do like a side salad as this, as the- You wanna make it a meal? Yes, please. Okay, you want a, the side salad instead of the fries? Yes, and a, and a Diet Coke. Okay, hold on. What does this with your order? Uh, and I'm gonna do uh, another artisan grilled chicken, just the sandwich, mm -hmm. with no sauce on that either. Okay, what does this with your order? That will complete my order. Thank you very much, have a great day. Okay, so let's see what we got. Here's a side salad. It's a spring mix. It's got a little bit of shaved carrots in it and some grape tomatoes. There you go. So a little bit of fiber, a little bit of greens. They also added and they asked, I don't know what, what kind of dressings they have. So I just got the, oh, look at that. They hooked me up with the low fat. Oh, they know what's up. Low fat balsamic vinaigrette, only 1.5 grams of fat in this. Um, so it's not terrible. I mean, if you put just a little bit, it's only got five grams of carbs. Sugar's three grams. This is not, this is not so bad. And this is for the whole pouch. I mean, if you drizzle this on your, on your salad, this is not a bad option. So I'm actually pretty happy about that. And next, for the main event, we got the two. And actually, if you notice, they didn't, uh, they forgot the Diet Coke. Ooh, they forgot the diet. It's no vinaigrette sauce, grilled artisan chicken. We got a pretty decent sized chicken breast in here. So you see, you got a pretty decent sized chicken breast and you got both buns. Both buns are gonna probably amount to anywhere between, I would say about 45 grams of carbs in that. And protein is about 37 grams of protein with each chicken breast. So again, if you are doing a mass building program, uh, you know, about 80 to 90 grams of carbs with that is not terrible. I'd say leave it for post-workout, especially if you had an epic back day like how I did yesterday. About 80 grams of carbs is not so bad. Um, if you're in a situation where maybe you need to cut carbs, I'd say ditch the whole bun situation and go with the two chicken breasts and toss them in to the side salad. That's not that's not a bad option if you're if you're prepping for a show. So that's probably something. If I'm in a pinch, I take both chicken breasts. I'd probably shred them up by hand and then toss them in the side salad. Hit it with a little bit of vinaigrette just to give it some type of flavor. And that would be a perfect uh, meal if you're on you know some type of fat burning program or on a contest prep. So McDonald's, not so bad for uh, for healthy options. Factory pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> These are our clean options. <laughs> Taco Bell, we got McDonald's. You can find those everywhere. And if you had a good week like how I did, treat yourself to a Big Mac.